Where are we now? Chocolate land? Niche. Niche. Garden city. <laughs> no, look what's here. Hello guys, so welcome to Exploring Niche and first we're gonna explore the Niche castle or the remains that uh, stay from the castle so here's like a cycle fox and it uh, goes back into uh, Turkish times so Serbia was under Turkish influence for 500 years and I think there was also some Roman influence so Roman Empire and here are the remains of the castle and ruins of it. This Ottoman mosque. So Serbia has been a long time under Turkish influence. Which one is Eddie? Eddie multiplied. Eddie multiplied. So we got another dog from who? In France. Italian friends. Italian friends. They didn't want to take care of it. Mm -hmm. They said that they're moving to a smaller apartment and I don't have a place for her and she's really hyperactive. You're gonna see. Yeah, so we're going, going for a walk. And she's a female, Nikki. It's uh, mixed with Labrador. And like, I've been smashing too much the late nights. Not like late nights, like the festival was like till 2 p.m. And then we had next day like traveling too much. And, and then uh, we're eating lots of vegan junk food. So all that combined just made me pretty sick. Uh, and now we have a time to rest. In Serbia, you can. We're actually renting this uh, house if you want to come um, on TripAdvisor. So far, we want to put it on Airbnb, and it's nice garden and stuff. So just making a commercial here. If you want to come to hang out here with the two doggies. Now we have three dogs somehow. So many dogs here. Just 
drowning in the river. There we got another dog I found when I was running in the morning. That dog over there is actually so out of shape. Like after one minute running up the hill, she just couldn't go anymore. And it was okay. And we found this dog over there in the woods. He was just following us back home. So now for now he's following us and we took him. Don't know what to do with him, but uh, Hopefully some of his father can take care of him after. Pretty playful dog and always goes around you. I'm barefoot walking again. It's not so bad as the last time. You don't walk fucking barefoot because you step in a dog shit. It smells bad as well. <laughs> no, I guess you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this reminds me of like, you know, the cars that are pulling another car. So here is the Poopily Doop again. So I named him Poopily Doop because he pooped like three times uh, inside the house. Um, once we left him during the all night, and we're hoping he's not gonna pee, but he peed and pooped everywhere. And I found him, he followed me from the woods when we were running and it's a really playful dog.
favorite vegan meals. Uh, last few days I've been raw, pretty much eating watermelon, melon, and lots of grapes, some bananas. But for dinner, uh, I don't have appetite for fruit anymore, for nothing sweet, but I want something salty. And uh, raw salad just doesn't do it for me. Uh, when I'm sick, uh, like I can do a few days raw, but after I recover, I, I need something salty and uh, calorie rich. And there is no way I'm gonna eat, you know, salad with avocado. And this is uh, potatoes with zucchini and spices and some salt right <clears throat> but as you can see I love my fruit I have stalked, stocked up on grapes and bananas and more grapes this smell is really good it's uh, called Gallia melon or uh, what the other name? I think sugar melon, something like that. So on the outside, looks like that. And we got a puppy. I found it uh, when I was running with uh, Eddie and Nikki, and now he's living with us. So I gave him soy milk in the red container there. He doesn't really like it. But uh, it's pretty playful. Or she. We expect that it's she. No, it's she. Wimps, I mean, she. Is that camera? Oh, no. 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 Oh,